Hi, um, our presentation is going to be on Coca-Cola land and I'm Isabella and my group is CK and Nicholas. Next. So the first of all, we're gonna talk about the history of Coca-Cola. So Coca-Cola was in, invented by Dr. John Steed Pepperton in Atlanta, Georgia, 1892. He first made the Coca-Cola by the combination of water with a new kind of syrup based on the cocaine and caffeine. And he first sold it in his pharmacies as a fountain drink, five cents per glasses. Later on, the treatment of Coca-Cola was set by his bookkeeper. In the first year, the sale average is about nine drinks per day. Next. So today, Coca-Cola is engaged primarily in the manufacture sales of syrup and concentrate for Coca-Cola, which is a Sweden's carbonated beverage. Coca-Cola is a global symbol of American taste. The company produces and sells other soft drinks and citrus beverages. With more than 2,800 products available in more than 200 countries, Coca-Cola is the largest beverage manufacturer and distributor in the world and one of the largest corporations in the United States. Next. Coca-Cola takes every customer as a target. However, its segmentation is mainly based on age, family size, and income. Age is one of the most important segments of Coca-Cola, dividing it mainly into two parts. Coca-Cola mainly addresses its product to a young customer base aged between 10 to 35. <clears throat> that is why they often use well-known pop stars to promote their product. Also, the company targets universities, schools, and colleges. However, the Coca-Cola diet products also addresses an elderly segment considering people with diabetes who are often 40 plus. Income is another important factor. The company offers its product in many different sizes and packages at different price levels, making it affordable for students and families. While Coca-Cola does bo uh, target both male and female audiences, there is a difference in gender taste preferences. Uh, for example, Coca-Cola Light is popular amongst females, where Coke Zero is mainly preferred by men. Next. So to, ident to identify the brand names, Coca-Cola was known as happy, refreshing, satisfying, and sharing. We plan on Coca-Cola Land's location to be in Atlanta, Georgia, a rapidly growing city and the home of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola Land is either going to be uh, close to the museum, uh, Coca-Cola Museum, or combine the two to create a bigger theme park. So some of our attractions will consist of our mega coaster named the Coca-Cola Blast, a sample bar where families can taste a wide variety of flavors, and we offer a class where you can make your very own drink. Our restaurant, the Polar Bear Cafe, which is a very fam family-friendly restaurant, um, it has a wide menu for everyone serving favorites like chicken tenders and paninis. We also have a nightly grand fireworks show and an old-time ice cream parlor that will sell ice cream and soda floats in special merchandise cups. We'll also have statues and characters all around the park that you can interact with. Next. So our exclusive merchandise will consist of a $30 red tote bag with the Coca-Cola label. This includes two storage compartments, a $15 red Coca-Cola branded baseball cap, and a $35 red Coca-Cola land branded um, graphic t-shirt. Next. So there are two promotions. One is for the fossil influencer. It's like we're gonna in, invite 10 or 15 influencers to come in the same day and we assign them to play the game. And top five of the winner gonna get a half year intern fee for free. And another requirement for them is we ask them to have a live stream on that in order to boost the social media, such as Facebook, Instagram, something like that. Another one is coupon. If you come in the same time for 10%, you're gonna get a 10% off and 15% off for the college student and another 20% off for the straight A student. Next. There are two types of tickets, daily and annual passes. Daily tickets are split into different age groups. The first and cheaper being ages nine, uh, three through nine, and the second being ages 10 and over. Daily tickets are also split into three tiers. The higher the tier, the more days available you can visit the theme park. Annual passes, similar to daily passes, are also split into three tiers, which determine which days are available. 
Each tier also has a slight difference in discounts. Tier 2 and 3 annual tickets have parking spaces included in their package. Tier 1 and 2 annual tickets can upgrade with an added on fast pass for $20 per day, whereas the fast pass is included in the tier 3 package. Next. So here's the risk of the branding because we are operating in a highly competitive industry. Our revenue properties and market share could be harmed if we are unable to compete efficiently. So there are two major concerns. First is the brand loyalty. There are too many, too, too many employees, so we are afraid of the customer service. And another one is the brand reputation because this day there are a lot of many, many brands. So similar to the Coca-Cola, such as Pepsi or something like that. And they also have a similar test and pride also. Next. This is a persona. Her name is Sofia Hernandez and she is 20 years old. She is a single college student. Some of her buying habits include shopping at the dollar store and purchasing about 21 items or more for every trip. She is the type of person that enjoys every minute of every day and hanging out with her friends. She also enjoys dressing up and looking her best and stylish. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for listening.